I'm not so sure. Oh, I can... wish I hadn't asked now. Oh, I feel oh, so my bad. God. No problem. Yeah, he doesn't just gently lower it yeah. in. Boom. <laughs> Michael, why are we in another Rolls Royce? So, uh, Rolls Royce Motor Cars of Orange County had kindly lent me the Phantom, and my car is still in for service. They're waiting for some software, and they needed it back. So, they gave me this, and I love it. Beautiful car. So, that's why we're in a Cullen. Got you. And so, what are we doing here in the beautiful but very cloudy Beverly Hills? It's a I'm, gloomy day, I isn't don't it? Like this weather. It's not usual. It's kind of reminiscent of London, actually. But we are going to visit. Seth at Essential Watches and we're going there today to show you something very different. We're going to show you how you can buy a very expensive looking watch for not an expensive amount of money or not a lot of money. So you can look like a millionaire without being a millionaire. And whilst we're on the topic of watches I've got something very exciting to announce. We're going to be releasing a new producer Michael website in the not too distant future and we are going to be giving away, are you ready for this? We're going to be giving away... Why don't you do a drum roll? Good thought, Adam. Where? I can't do it on the car. I'll pretend. Drum roll. Why have I got drumsticks? I don't know. Um, we are going to be giving away, I said that already, a Jacob & Co watch. Can you believe that? So that's what we're going to be doing for the launch of our new website. Jacob & Co watch. So guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe now. Hit the bell so you're notified when we release the, uh, the the video announcing the website. You don't want to miss out on this. It's an epic thing and thank you to Jacob as well. We got together and uh, very kind of him to allow us to do this. So we are going to be giving you a Jacob & Co watch. Let's go see Seth. Do you think this is a factory color? Yeah, I do actually. Because it is an Alpina, an Alpina and they yeah, do I crazy do. colors. I, do you know what? I don't mind it. Sure. I wouldn't have it on that. Well, actually, you know me, I maybe I would. It's sort of silver and then also pink. It, I think it's one of those iridescent paints. Yeah. Right? Hey, look, the matches, bottom half looks silver and matches, then the top looks matches pink. Matches my outfit. Not. Don't know if you ever saw the, the Borat movie. Not. <laughs> Do you see that? I did. Don't walk into the street. No, I'll try not to. How's it going? Good morning. Welcome. Thank you. Thank Hello, you. mate. Knock, knock. Quick, take them. Take them. Take them all. Yeah, right. Hello. Michael. Hello. Hey, hey. How are you, bud? <laughs> How are you? Good to see you. All good? All right. Okay. Look at this outfit today. Yeah, they're wacky, right? <laughs> right. No. Got the hat. Only you can pull off that hat. I don't know about that, but it's, it's a bit wacky, right? Thanks for letting us come in here again with the camera, and uh, everybody loved the last video, investment watches. And this time we're going to do it the other way around and, and uh, show people what they can buy mm -hmm. without spending a fortune, but still look like they've spent a fortune, right? So. You're really good at this. So, what would be your your tips as to uh, great watches to buy for a little money that's got that panaz, that's got the real Bing factor? Okay. Well, Bing the... factor. Bing. Uh, <laughs> clunker. <laughs> God, why do I come up with these I words? Don't know. Like, you just make them up. Bing factor. So yeah, I, I could have said Yahoo or Google or whatever. Right? <laughs> Bing factor. Bing factor watches. Um, you know, well, it, let me rephrase it. So you sat in a restaurant with a watch on your wrist that didn't cost a lot of money, but it's a nice restaurant and people look, oh, he's got a nice watch on. Mm -hmm. What would that watch be? Is that a fair comment, yes, Adam? That's absolutely. That type of thing. I, I'm genuinely interested in this as well. Okay, so there you have options, but the number one rule to remember is buy pre-owned. If you wanna save money, you get used. Right, All right. and some brands lose substantially, right? So right. you can take advantage so of that. That's, and that's, again, that's my specialty is pre-owned watches. Mm -hmm. So over here, I have some options for you. Let me just pull them out. What do you have? Yeah, we got this, this. Mm, this I'm going to bring them over here because the lighting is better. Can I do, can I do that? Right. Definitely. Okay, so this one, we have to have a dispute over the name. I say Bulgari, you probably say... Bulgari. Bulgari. But I'm, I'm saying it with a heavy American accent. <laughs> what, what's actually correct, do you know? The, however, you however the, the phone and see how they answer the phone, right? Yeah, yeah. Should I do that? Well, no. it's, it's Italian. I, I think it's Bulgari. Yeah, Bulgari. Bulgari. You, you have to do this with your fingers. It comes with a spaghetti. <laughs> or like, no, that's money. Well, how did you do it? A Bulgari. Yeah, Bulgari. 
<laughs> Whatever. Well, yeah. So, you so, know, obviously, Bulgari is a, is a very high-end watch company. They make jewelry. They make watches. And they're on Rodeo Drive. And these are watches that, you know, like, let's say, for example, this watch that retails for $11,000. You don't have to go spend $11,000 to get this watch. You can buy this watch. This is a watch, nice watch. Yeah, pre-owned. Pre-owned. I would sell that watch in my shop for $4,000. That's a great, great deal. That's what nearly a, it's a third. Yes. Yeah. And that's that's how you buy a watch like that. Absolutely. And, and what about reliability factor? When somebody spends four thousand dollars on a used watch like this, mm. it's not going to break. It's still substantial, right? Well, we stand behind all of our watches. I give one year warranties on all my used watches, and so yeah, obviously we assume that the watch isn't going to break. But let's right. say, I mean, God forbid something goes wrong, we stand behind it. Fair comment. Yeah. That's a, that's a pretty looking watch mm, actually. I it's do. a very I like nice looking one. watch. Yeah. I haven't seen this watch before and uh, it's very attractive. Just some other examples. You can buy Chanel's right now at excellent deals. You know, these are retail $6,500. Sell that in our shop right now for $2,000 for a diamond Chanel. It's black ceramic. Where's the diamonds? Oh, I see on them. The, yeah. yeah, I see them, yeah. Yeah, put the diamonds on the dial. Again, that's a great brand, Chanel. Uh, I don't think there's a person on the planet that doesn't know who Chanel is. Yeah. Two grand, huh? Another Rodeo Drive brand. Wow, oh, beautiful. That's a Patek. Yeah, this is the other one I want to show you. So this is a ladies' Patek. It's called the 24 in stainless steel. It's got diamonds on the side. This watch, uh, brand new. I believe these are 13,000 right around there. Uh, we would sell this watch for $6,500. That's amazing. And these, these diamonds were from the factory? Yes, absolutely. These are yeah. original. That's the only way a stainless steel Patek 24 came, is with factory original diamonds. When you think about a Patek Philippe, at least when I think about a Patek Philippe, you don't ever think you can buy one for 6500 bucks, mm -hmm. let alone with diamonds, right? Yeah. I actually have a white gold version of that watch right here. Is that the same? It's the same, right? It's, it's, this is going to be more expensive, but the retail price on a white gold version is in the mid-40s. Is it really? Mid 40s. So how much is this watch in comparison to this one? So this one is going to be $18,000. So a little less than half of retail. But to all intents and purposes, so this is $40,000. I think it's like 45,000 retail. 40. So going back to what I said earlier, if this was on your wrist in a restaurant, no one's going to know the difference. Correct. Excellent right? point. Yeah. You just can't tell the difference. Yeah, that's got a different color dial, but that doesn't mean anything because no. I'm sure this comes with that dial yeah. and vice versa. The, the true the true watch fanatic will observe that on the white gold Patek 24s, diamonds. they put a second row of diamonds right. on the outer edge. So that is one way you could tell if it was white gold, but really, most people are not going to know that. I wouldn't have known that, yeah. I, and I consider yeah. myself pretty knowledgeable with watches. I, I would not have known that. I just yeah. thought it's a different model, but that's interesting. That's yeah. very interesting. This is a white gold Roger Dubuis for $4,000. That's inexpensive. I mean, yeah, this white is gold. White gold Roger Dubuis. How old is this watch? Oh boy, this thing is probably 10, 15 years old. This is one of the earlier models they made. That's but age I, doesn't matter on a watch, right? No, as long as you keep up with the service, it doesn't matter. What do you have to do when you say service? It's just oil, right? Uh, well, you know, a watchmaker is gonna go into the movement, they're gonna take it apart, they're gonna oil it up, and they're gonna reassemble the movement and, and recalibrate it, make sure it's keeping perfect time. So that sounds expensive. How much does something like that cost? Is it expensive or is it inexpensive? A service? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, the the cheapest services you can get are usually three three fifty, from entry level watches. That's not that bad, really. Three hundred. Yeah, three hundred fifty. Oh. But but when you send it to the factory, you're talking about two or three times that amount for the factory to do the service. So what I was referring to is a good local watchmaker can do, service your watch. So I've had horrible experience sending watches to factories because you're supposed to send them for the regular service. They will go, six months later you're on the phone, where's my watch? Yeah. I'm serious. No, I know, they're, they're I, I, notorious for taking their time. To, but to six anything. months, longer than six months sometimes, it's crazy. Yeah. What is this? Oh. Uh, this is another ball grab pulled out, another, another big, big discount you get on this watch. This is a watch that was retail $5,500. We'd sell it here in the shop for $1,800. That sounds like a bargain. Another pretty watch. It's a big watch. Mm -hmm. What do you think of that? Yeah, it's an interesting looking thing, isn't it? It's, nice. but it, it's very big. You know I like big watches. So let's talk about, oh, that just caught my eye. That's an expensive watch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bring it out, I want to see. <laughs> Sorry, sorry to just go off topic for a second here, but... 
Richard Mills. Is this yeah. is this the one that you have? I do have one of these. It's a, this is an 1102. Yeah. Correct? Yes, it is. Is the one that you normally wear the one that's on that white band 1103? That's 1103. Okay, and so what's the difference? The 1103 is the latest model of it, and it's also ridiculously desirable in this moment in time. Would you, would you say that? Yes. It has little uh, lugs that go on the side of the case, whereas this is smooth. This one is actually more complicated. This has a GMT function, Correct. this extra button on the side. Right. It's a, another time zone, basically. But for whatever reason, it's not quite as popular as the O3. Mm -hmm. But it's a beautiful, beautiful watch. How much is this? 160. I'd sell this for 160. That's a very fair price. That is a very fair price. Brand new, they're going to run you 190 to 200 right now for brand new. This is about a year old. Beautiful piece. Thank yeah. you for showing it. So what was I talking about? Uh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah. So now we've talked about some of these these brands. There's, I'll let you do that. Aftermarket versus factory is another topic that a lot of people always talk about, and I think there's a lot of confusion. So you're referring to diamonds. Yeah. Okay. So so let, Rolex, Cartier, any of these name brand um, watches people customize them, they put aftermarket diamonds on them. And categorically, the factory ones are so much more expensive. Is there justification in spending the money for the factory pieces versus something that looks very, very similar that's aftermarket? Well, okay, so I can answer that question a couple different ways. First of all, you have purists that will not buy a watch without factory diamonds. They believe and they're, they're justified from the factory, they use only the best, best quality, cleanest stones. So for example, Paddock, you can buy Nautiluses fully iced out with stones that are top grade quality, but they're not quite as good as a Paddock, almost flawless diamonds that they install in those watches. And probably not as well matched as well in size and cut. Not matched. Um, and then you've got the other issue, of course, which is having your watch serviced. I know what you're gonna say, it's happened to me. Okay. It's happened to me. Tell me. After I had a, an AP that I had aftermarket diamonds put on, uh -huh. uh, it had some issue with the chrono, and I took it to AP, and they said, we can't touch this, we're, we're not gonna go near it. So ever since that point, I only buy factory personally, yeah. but I have bought aftermarket pieces. Gotcha. But can we compare, do you have anything to compare so we can actually Yeah, I don't do see. a lot of aftermarket, but I do have a couple pieces I can show you, for example. Um, here, some Cartier. So Mike here, we'll play a little game. Okay. There's another one here I see. All right. So of these three Cartier, one of these is aftermarket. Which one is it? Am I allowed to touch them? Sir? All right. Let's see. Okay. Talk me through what you're looking for. Okay. Well. well, first and foremost, in holding this, first thing I'm feeling is weight. Is this gold or steel? That will give me a clue as to whether or not it's going... It does... It's, it's not written in law that it will be aftermarket or factory, but Correct. there's a bigger chance that it'll be factory if it's gold. Right. Fair? Yes. Okay, so this feels like it's gold. It is. Okay, so this is white gold, and then the next thing I look at is the way that the diamonds are set and the, and the sparkle and, and how they conform, and then I'll feel them to see how the setting is. Okay, so I would say that this is factory. Okay, so you'd be correct. I would? Yes. Okay, so it's one out of one. one next more. one, next one. <laughs> All right, this one, oh, same thing. Uh, first thing I feel is the weight, this is gold. Am I correct? Correct. Okay, and then I'm looking at the setting, feeling the setting, and I would say that that's factory. Yeah, and you'd be right. All right, so All right. now by process of elimination. Two, two. <laughs> well, this one might also be factory, right? No, I said one is aftermarket. Oh, you so. did? Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, this is clearly aftermarket. Okay. Um, firstly, it's very light. Can you hold that still? Because otherwise I get so much hate in the comments <laughs> trying to focus on these things. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. All right. It's like a boomerang that I did my very first one today. You did? Perfect. All right. Okay. So, okay. Adam, feel the side of this case. Yeah. It's smooth, but you feel I something, do. right? Yeah. Now, f rub your, well, this is bigger. Rub your finger across that. Do you see the difference? Oh, yeah. There's a big difference, yeah, right? Yeah, there is. Um, and then if you feel the weight of this, yeah, steel. Fairly light. Right? And then, I know this has a bracelet, but you'll see an immediate difference, oh, yeah. right? Yeah. You have another one back there uh, with diamonds on. Don't tell me what it is, let me have a peek. No shortage of selection. 
Yeah, I guess there was a process of elimination knowing but but okay so okay so this one immediately it's white gold. Ah, very good. All it's right. white gold. And it's very rare in white gold. You should is it really? Money, you almost never see this watch in gold. But it's heavy, so it had to be, right? And then this looks and feels like it's factory. Yeah. Could, right. Yeah. Now, if it was aftermarket, it would probably still look very, very similar. Mm -hmm. But you can feel differences, right? How, how do you detect? Well, usually the, the best way that I do it is exactly what you said. I feel it. That's the first thing I'm doing is I'm feeling it. If I can't decipher a quality difference with the diamonds, what we do is we actually run the reference number of the watch. Once, for example, Cartier assigns a reference number to a watch, that watch is only made either with or without diamonds. So if the reference number tracks back as being plain, then it's obvious. We know it's aftermarket diamonds. Have you ever been tricked? Uh... I, I rephrase that. Have you ever made a mistake thinking something was factory and it wasn't? Uh, I don't mean tricked as in... I don't remember, a... but I'll just go ahead and say the safe answer. I'll say, yes, sure. I <laughs> <laughs> so, so let's talk through the prices of these. Um, yeah. How much is that, for example? All right, so this is, um, you know, we always have to base everything after MSRP. So MSRP on this watch is $55,000. Fifty-five thousand yeah, dollars. This is an expensive watch. Uh, I would have guessed Cartier. this. This was in the twenties, maybe thirty. For whatever reason, Cartier set a very high price on this white gold sports model. Uh, wow! So we're asking eighteen for this watch. So it's a big depreciation. Oh yeah. This big might one. be a silly question. Um, you said that this is a sports model. Yes. What makes something that looks like it? doesn't belong anywhere near any type of sport, a sports model. All right, well, when we say sports, we're saying the opposite of a dress watch. So a dress watch is typically a low profile watch that we wear in a suit, you know, that can fit underneath our cuff. Oh, that's see, that's see how he did that. that. See how he did that. That's pretty, that's pretty a, well. What's this? A, this is Jacket Draws. This is, how did you uh, pronounce that? Jackie Draws. Jacket yeah. Draws. Okay. So I've always and, said and, Jack and, Draws yeah. because <laughs> I'm ignorant when it comes to this thing. Listen, I admit, I'm, I definitely, I like I, the... I, 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 I'm speaking with an American accent and the, the Swiss probably pronounce this differently to be <laughs> quite honest with you. But it's better than mine, Jack Drawers. Yeah. Is this an expensive yeah, watch? Yeah, this is a $26,000 retail watch and we would sell this in my shop for $8,500. Again, that's like, amazing. Yeah, every, that is yeah. amazing. I'm telling you, uh, used is the way to go. If you really want to save money, you buy pre-owned. So this one here, this aftermarket that appears to have more diamonds than any of these, I'm assuming is less money than these. You'd be correct. So yeah. how much are these, and how much is that? Uh, About. Yeah, uh, sixteen thousand, seventeen thousand, eighty-five hundred. Are you kidding? Yeah. Wow, that's an enormous difference, 8,500. And, and I think the bling factor on this... And you actually have more diamonds on it. Yeah, is, 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 <laughs> right. is more, right? You would right. notice this more across a room than you would this. Right. 80, so, 80, eight and a half? Yeah. And then which was more expensive out of these two? Uh, they're, it's a it's a toss-up. They're about okay. the same. 17... We would sell either for 17. So, hold, hold this up and this up as like a comparison because they're similar shape. Yeah, and I mean, looking at them like that, you wouldn't say that this one was way more expensive than this one would you what would the retail be of this uh, I believe retail on that is something around high 30s low 40s somewhere in there this looks way more expensive doesn't it yes yeah. this, this one yeah crazy no, really crazy does. so talking about aftermarket um, Rolex perfect example they mm -hmm. have a watch that's currently very hot called the Daytona rainbow mm-hmm the rose gold version. Yeah, so with it's, it's basically a rainbow is the you have one? Oh, Yeah, I have a rose gold Daytona. Okay. So that's that the base. Yeah. With the rainbow bezel, uh, the diamond lugs and diamond dial is currently selling for about $350,000. If you can get them, they're about three to 350 right now. Wow. Okay. Yeah, but an aftermarket one is 50, 60 grand, somewhere around there. How much yeah. is it? Yeah. For, yeah, you can get an aftermarket for low 50s. Really? Yeah. And it looked the same. I was going to say, because I've seen one of those, and if you're talking about something where it's only the bezel that's done with the diamonds, is it harder to tell the difference between aftermarket and factory? Well, I mean, I, I've seen a lot of watches that are aftermarket, and, and I swear you've got to look two or three times because they are so similar and so well done nowadays. Um, once you start changing the dials out and you start drilling into the case, I think that compromises things because 
you have to take the movement out, you have to split it all apart. So I wouldn't want to do that. Mm -hmm. Uh, but with a really good watchmaker, you can do that, right? Yes. And, and it's still going to be waterproof. It's still going to be no... Right. But, I mean, Rolex is a tough watch. You should have a Rolex, Adam. That you should think? be your first real watch, yeah. But I, I beat up my watches. That's the problem. Is but there, well, there is no watch that you can beat more than a Rolex. A Rolex is it, it, bulletproof. Really? I mean, you, can, you can do anything in a Rolex. You can drop it on the floor and it will run. But I, I don't can, recommend it. I can do all of that with my G-Shocks. Yeah, but it's not a Rolex, right? <laughs> it's true, it isn't a Rolex. Yes. I mean, would you say that yeah, Rolex I mean, is a tough? I, I stand behind Rolex uh, every day of the week. Um, I can even show you, for example, here, I'll show you a little test I do sometimes. You can come out with a hammer. And so, how much, uh, hammer. so how much are, like, what is an entry-level Rolex? Um, they vary, uh, like a sports Rolex, which I would recommend for yeah, you. Yeah, I, I do like the sports Rolexes. Maybe eight, nine thousand dollars. These ones over here. The, any of any of these watches. These are all sports watches. So the, the Submariner, the GMT. What have you got there? Water from the coffee maker. <laughs> what, are you with? Okay. What, this? What, what are you going to do? <laughs> no problem. And you going to dunk that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, we'll move these out of the way because I'm not so sure. Oh, I wish I hadn't asked. Now. Oh, I feel oh so my, bad. No, no problem. Yeah, he doesn't just gently lower it yeah. in. <laughs> Boom. So I mean. Okay, and Rolex is legitimately known for being... <laughs> can you see it running? You can see the second hand running. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's no bubbles going in there. There's no problem with this. That's so crazy. And you can do that with any Rolex. Want, yeah. any, any Rolex. I mean, would you, would you take another brand and do that? I know you've just showed me that with the Rolex, but yeah, are there yeah, other yeah, brands? Of course. There are other brands that are waterproof. And the, the main thing, you'll want to do something like that. Actually, I should have tested it first, but you, you really do need to <laughs> make sure the crown... You need to make sure the crown is fully wound in well, that, there. That's another thing. The, so the crowns on many of the top watches, they actually have a screw function. So when you, it, there's a seal in there, right? Right, it locks it. So it locks the right. seal and you push it after you set the hands and then you tighten it. And that's where the water normally gets in Got as you. well as through the glass. Yeah. Um, shameless plug. Yes. This watch has a wind in crown. Is it waterproof? Let's it is dunk, water let, Should we dunk it? Yeah, for sure. Are you yeah. going to dunk it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Hold this. All right. Well, you might want to. You might want to. Hold on. I am this is a operating. This is a what? These are like eight hundred dollars, I think. So make well, sure. Well, you might want to take that out because yeah, might yeah. I don't want to point other. mine onto yours. Yeah, it's, it's a Rolex. It's indestructible. Yeah. You sure. Just do it. Go, so. Oh, I feel so bad. <laughs> okay, let's watch the bubbles go in there. How, no. am I, how am I doing with the camera, Adam? You're doing pretty good. Yeah, let's zoom in a little bit. Hey, you take the camera. I'll okay. hold. I'll hold this. All right. There. Got it. It's you always manage whenever you hold this to push the spot focus button so it doesn't focus. <laughs> Did it really? There you go, look at that. Still still running in there. That is hilarious. Alright, cool. So you can either buy an eight grand Rolex that'll run Duncan in Water, or you can buy an eight hundred dollar. But, but going out. going back to you wanna feel very, very special. Of course, right? Of course. You're sat in a restaurant and you want to impress a young lady across the room. Every young lady out there, well not every, many. They know what a Rolex watch is, right. and that instantly says, "Hey, that guy's doing something well for himself. He's got yeah. a job and all the rest of it, right?" Yeah. Here, so we can do some more comparisons. I have one other watch. You're gonna throw something else in there. A good example. <laughs> it's getting full. <laughs> no, I'm talking about the, the quality when it comes to original, original are, are you, diamonds. Are you cool leaving that in there? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So my yeah. black one that I have, I dive in it's, that. I do everything in it. You do? Mm, yeah, yeah. No problems. No. This is a beautiful piece. Yeah. That is. Absolutely stunning. So, so white Can I have this as my first one? <laughs> you should. Yeah. Right? yeah. What uh, what are we no, looking no at for this? Uh, it's like uh, sixty three thousand retail. But what about like an Adam price? <laughs> Adam price like we're uh, friends. We've known each other now for a while. <laughs> Forty eight thousand dollars for this forty millimeter present. And, and then what about like an Adam price? <laughs> I think that is the Adam price. Oh, it is. <laughs> this oh. is all factory, right? Okay. So yeah. So look at the difference. I mean, this is a huge difference between the, the watch I pulled out right here. This whole watch is fourteen five. Wow. But look, look at the difference in the bezel, the diamonds. You can't compare it. Yeah. This bezel is basically worth almost as much as the entire watch is worth. Oh my God. God yeah, this I thing is so nice. It's so nice. This and if you look, so look nice. at the quality of the baguettes in the dial, yeah. I don't know if the camera will show them, and look at the baguettes in here. And these aren't bad. Right. But uh, not to be compared, really. Uh, but oh, also, I really that's wish a good you deal. Me that. that's a good this deal. is a meteor, this is a, actually a slice of meteorite stone that they make these dials with. This is, uh, did you see the detail on this dial? I have this dial. Oh, um, nice. I have the masterpiece. The masterpiece, yeah. I, I think I bought it from you. 
years ago. Yeah. Probably did. I did. Do you want to sell it? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually looking for one right now. No. Nope. Okay. Well, how much? <laughs> Let's talk. Yeah. We can discuss it. No, actually, I, I try not to I try not to sell my watches yeah. because um, all of these watches have gone crazy. They've all gone up in value, yeah. including the entry level one. So that's why I, I'm I'm hoping that you know when you're watching this video, you see well maybe there's, there's a goal here, something that I can afford and get one because it's better than money on the stock market. That does this type of thing. This is a tangible item. A watch is something you wear, you enjoy, and simultaneously can go up in value. I'm not saying it's going to, but historically they do, right? Right, they if do. If you buy them right. Yes, exactly right. So with that said, anything else you want to show us? Or we, do you have anything you want to see, Adam? No, I, I've seen all I need to see. I wish I hadn't have seen that now because that genuinely is something that I would set as a goal for myself. Well, like, set that, yourself that, that goal. All right, set consider yourself it that set. goal. Consider it set. That's your, that is that's, a very special watch. looking watch. And I think before we sign off, we should just take these out and make sure that yeah, they're yeah, still functioning. Sure. How do we do that? Who's dunking their hand in there? Let me just do it in the back if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah, do it in the back. He's going to flip flop the watch. Yeah, he's going to swap it out for one that's working. Yeah, right. He'll come back and be like, oh, Adam, yours is broken. We just destroyed a Rolex. That's funny. No, this thing really, you know, when you ask me and you say, what kind of watches do you like? Well, I've now discovered that it's this. So I am totally shocked that you chose that because I would never have put you as a diamond guy, ever. But that's like subtle. It's There's nothing subtle about that. There's nothing subtle about that watch. this. Like this one, this one isn't subtle. This May I is... show you something? May I show you something? Yes, it's please. going to look very different. I'm going to take this off for a second. I'll put that gently on the counter. I'm going to put this on mm -hmm. and I'm going to show you how not subtle this is. What's subtle about that? I'm sorry, mate. It sparkles for, like crazy. For, for a fancy watch, that is. Like that's the kind of thing that you would wear, and it's and people aren't going to go, oh my god, what is what are all those diamonds? But they're going to see it sparkling, and they're going to go, wow. Do that's you think special. this is a subtle watch? No. Subtle? Anything with diamonds isn't subtle. Ah, uh, whatever. Just, what do you guys know about watches? It's nothing. You're right. You're <laughs> absolutely right. <laughs> what I mean is compared to like this isn't subtle. Oh, I think that's very subtle. <laughs> you can hardly <laughs> this you is, can hardly see it, and it is upside down. There this is Michael Blakey. Yeah, this is this is Michael Blakey. This is Adam. Would Swartz. you call this subtle? <laughs> no, this is not subtle. I love this. Is watch. uh, is it still working? <laughs> yeah, it's working. There's no water in there either. I checked. Nice. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> He's laughing. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. It's a nice watch. There you go. Thank you. It is a nice watch. It's a very nice watch, and a very affordable watch. Yeah. How much are these? Uh, about eight hundred. I want to. I don't want to misquote, but I think they're about eight hundred and fifty bucks. So yeah, I was completely wrong. I'm just out here editing this video. They are not $850 at all. They are anywhere between $500 and $45. Uh, or if you go for the rose gold, then they go up to around $630. So way cheaper than I thought. And it's a great watch. Let's carry on with the video. They're handmade in Sydney, Australia using a Swiss movement. Aust Correct me Australian. If I'm... Australia, yeah, they're an Australian company. Correct me if I'm wrong. They don't come with a bracelet though, do they? So they do. So actually, uh, ah. so I that came without the bracelet. That came with a rubber strap and a leather strap. Okay. I thought that would look great on a bracelet. So I bought that bracelet and now after I sent uh, the at Roger, who's the owner of the company, I sent him a photograph of this on a bracelet. They're now offering it with a bracelet. Oh, really? Yeah, because they like color. Ah, because this bracelet doesn't fit this watch properly. Do you not think? Well, it has a gap, right? So oh, you mean fit as in right? Got you. Yeah, right. yeah. I thought so you meant you look, fit you style. You see wise. how they they have a, a, yes. a shape that goes up to the case. Yeah, of the exactly. Watch. No, no. This was just an eBay generic strap. But it looks great. It Guess looks how much nice. the strap was? Twenty bucks. Close. Twelve. Really? Twelve dollars. <laughs> wow. Dollars, yeah. run. Is it waterproof? Kidding. <laughs> this strap. Looks like it. Yeah. Well, Seth, thank you so very, yeah. very, very much. You're always uh, very you're always welcome here, Mike. Very informative. It's always great to see Everybody you. loves you. Um, your prices are amazing. Thank your you. knowledge is even more amazing. And uh, with that said, we're in it to win it. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. Why should they hit the subscribe button? What are we gonna be talking about? You've gotta hit that subscribe button because we are giving away a Jacob watch. Did you hear about that? You're giving away a Jacob? Yeah, so we, we, wow. uh, we're launching a new website in the near future and uh, the, the, the surprise element of that is a Jacob watch. Someone's gonna win one. Wow. 
So guys, if you don't subscribe and you don't hit the bell, you're not going to see that video. You might miss it. Don't do that. Hit the subscribe button. We'll see you later. When you are under the weather... Yo, Seth. Hello? Hey, I'm here. Cool. How you doing? I'm doing good. All right. So I'm good. I'm good. I'm just wrapping up this edit right now. And uh, I noticed that after we threw that Rolex into the water, um, you went out back to fish out my watch and yours, but you never bought the Rolex back. Did it break? No, it did not break. It was perfect. Okay. All right. Just making sure you know what the internet's like. They're going to be like, oh, he didn't bring it back. So I bet it broke. So I just thought I'd give you a call and find out. All right, the watch is perfect. I got it right here in my shop still. So. Good, all right, and how much do you want for that one? It's 8,000. Hmm, okay. Let me know. All right, <laughs> thanks buddy, I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye. Bye. Getting caught in the storm, do you remember? I told you if we dance in the blizzard, we are not getting